Okay, so you're going to see a clip where I take a bunch of our packaging and texture ta tags. I'm just thinking of them, of them as like extra large tags. Um, and after the paint was dry on them, I gave them a really dry brushing of some white gesso. And on some of them, I sprayed some ink sprays and things on them too. So I'm going to show you a quick clip of doing that and then we'll be right back.
so now that we've seen that video and these are all nice and dry I'm going to show you on at least a couple of them how to finish them and turn them into something interesting that you could um, bind together through their tops and use a um, you know a binder ring or you could gift to somebody so I've got my large Xyron creative station here which we're going to use I've got a piece of just plain white office supply cardstock. I have some, you can't see them, some words, scissors, and some um, goop glue. Because it's um, these are very dimensional and there's lots of different kinds of things on them and it's thick, you really need a glue that not only will stick to anything, but that will um, stay dimensional. So we're going to use goop glue. Um, first, I want to look for a focal image. You could use, of course, a handmade image, and I do have... I may on some of them use, I have this little basket of like tags and little things and there's some small watercolors in here and on some of them I may use some of these but I also have binders full of um, collage material so you don't have to have like little paintings. So these are small collage um, images, move the Xyron out of the way and I have them in these um, binders with these clear um, sheets in them. I think these are intended for Project Life cards, I think. So this is an interesting image that might work for something. That's sort of calling my name at the moment. So the idea is to just pull out a couple that kind of speak to you. So if you're like me, then you have probably buckets of these images. And a lot of these are from um, mixed media magazines. And these are other people's artwork and, and you know, look different collage bits and graphic bits. And I don't own the rights to any of these images. Alright, so there's three, so let's try those and see where we get with those. And now the trick, of course, is to find tags that we think they're going to work on. This one right away, I think, might work on that one. Okay, we're going to run all of these images through our Xyron. Just without trimming them or anything. I'll show you why in a bit. The Xyron, of course, turns them into giant stickers so that you don't have to worry about gluing them down flat and having them not be wrinkly and all of that jazz. I have a bunch of words here, so I'm going to pick some of them and run them through also. I like that one. I like this one. And let's do this one. Put the rest of these away. There we go. So then we'll just cut it off. And we're going to give them all um, a push into the adhesive with a, something like a ruler or in this case a bone folder or something to make sure they're good and stuck on the back. And then peel off the protective layer. And stick them all to your cardstock. Including the words. I'm going to stick the big word on here first. Oops, which I just ripped, so I'll have to piece it back together if I don't rip this crap out of it. 
Well, we might have to pick a different word now. Okay, yep, we're gonna have to pick a different word on that one. That one's all mangled. Don't be a gorilla with the <laughs> words. Let's take this one off carefully. That one just wasn't meant to be today, I think. Okay. Put this one here. All right. Um, let's do the pink one. Oh, that one came out wrinkly. Oh, let's see if it'll work anyway. I'm not having good luck with these some of these words today, so the thin papers are hard to make sticky. Let's see if I can at least get it off of here without mangling it. Let's see. Go! Yay! All right. Throw all this away and get it out of our way. So now that we have that done, now we can cut them out. And so the first thing I'm going to do is just rough cut them and separate them. I think I know which words should go with which picture. So we're going to put the words up here. We're going to put the pictures over here and before we do any trimming we're going to pick a tag that I think I like with the pictures and the first tag that spoke to me this morning was this one. Um, I love the colors and texture on here from the um, lace and everything. So cool. All right. Um, and I'm kind of thinking this should be on here. So let's cut this. I am going to get a paper trimmer. They don't have to be straight. And you could tear the edges if you want. That's totally up to you. I love this picture of these paint brushes in the jars. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. We backed it with cardstock so that the image is nice and stiff and will stand up above the textured background really well because we've got on some of those tag these tags so much going on. And then on the words you could do these on the paper trimmer too if you wanted, but I'm going to just eyeball it. Throw all the bits away. Okay, I'm going to grab some ink. And I think I'm going to try to get that up. Let's see, do I want Distress Ink? Or do I just want a little ink spot? I think I just want a little ink spot. I have this one. These are old Memory Keepers inks. That one will work. This is like a dark greenish color. And I'm going to just edge the image with it and the words to just take off some of the white edge. You won't really see it too much on this. You'll see it more on the words. I've had these little Memory Keepers inks for about a million years. I'm su actually surprised they're not dried out. And then we're going to use our goop glue. You could use glue dots if you have glue dots, like the dimensional glue dots. I'm not going to glue the whole thing down. I'm just going to put like points of glue. And 
and it'll stand up above the tag, which is what I want. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing with the word, words, I should say. something like that. I really love the way that looks. Let's do another one. And then just, you know, set it aside to dry. The goop glue takes a little while to dry, so just you need to just set it aside and let it do its thing. So let's find one for this um, teacup, which I think I want to say love your everyday life. And I think I'm going to put it like right over where it says time for tea or I'm going to just cut that off. But let's find a tag that will work for that for the background color wise I think instead of making the whole thing really really pink that maybe I want to do something that has uh, one of these other colors in the background it's a nice thing to have sort of a large collection of tags that you can work with actually maybe this one will work I just said I wasn't going to do that didn't I like it on here so I actually and I just said I wasn't gonna do that but you know but it's nice to have a large collection of these tags that you can you know pull from no see I like this one because it's got a little bit of the hint of the green and the um, um, blue that's in the in the teacup so let's cut the image out but it's nice to have a large collection of these tags and then you can just when you want to make some you can pull from your collection of them and images and words and match things up that look nice together. I do think I'm going to cut the time for tea off. And again with the ink pad to just knock down the white edges a little bit. You could hang charms and ribbon and things off the top of these. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's put some glue. Now, I said in the first video, and I'll say it again, this is inspired by the video over at May Mary Small Art, or Mari Me Small Art. I don't remember how to pronounce it, but the link will be in the description below. Go watch her video, show her channel some love. She's got a great channel. This says, love your everyday life. So we're gonna cut this out. And again, we have these on the cardstock so that they're a little stiffer and they'll glue down better to the paper. I mean, to the tag. You knew what I meant, right? some of the goop on the back. Now on this one, let's see, I need to get I got kind of a big blob of glue back here, so let me just spread it out a little bit. Okay. I like that a lot. So again, you could hang ribbons or um, charms or something off of the top. All right, so let's do one more. Let's do this one. And I really, we're going to only use part of this and we're going to use do more of whatever it is you do. And um, let's see, or should we do let there be light? See, maybe we should do let there be light now that I'm thinking about it. Do I have any more cardstock left I can stick that to? Yep, I've got a scrap. We might do that. All right, let's find um, one of these packaging things for her to go on first. <clears throat> so again, I'm just going to look on one that she coordinates with the background. She doesn't have to match it exactly. Um, I, will, I do want her to stand out a little bit, but 
I don't want it to be too contrasty necessarily. So let's see. It's so funny, on some of these, the colors came out so bright, I was pretty sure I was not going to like them. But you know what? I That's not true. I love them. Okay, I like kind of like her on this little one. We'll have to trim her down a bit, but I kind of like her on this little one. So let's do that. Let's stick our word first. Oops. Not upside down. Right side. So you stick them in here right side up. So you make the back sticky. And we'll put this back in the word box and save it for something else. Okay. Now let's give her a trim. So that she will fit on our big tag. There's a bird on her shoulder. I don't want to completely cut the bird off. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so again, let's edge her out a little bit. And this um, Memory Keepers ink pad is like a dark grayish green. I'm sure there's a Distress ink pad that is similar to this, and I probably even own it, but this was right on top. Yep, I like that, so let's put her on there. Now this particular tag is super textured, so I'm going to put an extra glue dot in the center. Okay, and then where's our words? So it would be fun to make a collection of these and then bind them together with a binder ring or gift them to some of your art friends. I'm going to cut the words apart. Oops, I forgot to put ink on that, didn't I? Now I gotta try to do it without getting uh, glue on my fingers or glue on the ink pad. That's gonna be tricky, tricky, tricky. Oops. Let's try doing the inking part first. It's a little quicker. <laughs> So have fun playing with your backgrounds. Do all kinds of crazy colors, even colors you think you might not like. Um, if you're like me, you're going to find that the crazy wild colors you were pretty sure you weren't going to like are probably your favorites. So there we go. I like the way they all turned out. Let's put them all together so you guys can see. Alrighty there. So I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do with just stuff you have laying around your studio, using up bits and pieces, using up packaging, 
experiment and play and just be free about it and enjoy the process. Don't forget to go over and watch the other video. Look in the description below. I'll see you later. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe make some art and I'll see you later. Bye guys.